a very warm welcome to tech mining. This tutorial demonstrates how custom filters can be added to reports very easily with dynamic actions. When one or more department records are selected via the shuttle item, the report is refreshed via Ajax to show the newly scoped employees. To achieve this, this page contains one dynamic action called Filter Refresh. This refreshes the report after a different department has been selected. This makes use of the refresh action. Now let's get started. First, create an interactive report page. After creating the interactive report page, on the root node, scroll down to HTML header section. From the source code provided in video description, copy and paste the HTML header code. The code is defining styles for specific elements. It sets the width and height of select elements within classes, shuttle select 1, and shuttle select 2. It also sets the vertical alignment of TD elements within tables with the classes, form layout, and shuttle. These styles will be applied to the corresponding HTML elements on the page where this code is included. Create a static content type region. Select the buttons container region template, used to hold multiple buttons and select the template option to customize the user interface of this component. This will position the region body to no padding for the region, and will remove UI decoration. Create a page item under this region. This page item is of shuttle type displayed as a multiple select list that includes two boxes containing lists. The left list displays the source list of values that have not been selected and the right list shows the currently selected values. End users can select one or more values in a list then use the shuttle controls to move the selected values or all values. This option is set to choose what data movement controls displays in the middle of the shuttle. In the list of values section, set type to SQL query, the dynamic list of value based on the SQL query you enter. The query retrieves all rows from the department table selects only the DNAME and DEPT number columns, alias them as D and R, respectively, and then sort the result set based on the D column, department name, in ascending order. The resulting data set will have department names in alphabetical order along with their corresponding department numbers. In the interactive report region, Under the source type, replace the default query with the one provided in source code. This SQL query retrieves information about employees, including their managers and department names. The condition highlighted in the video is used for filtering. It checks whether the department number of an employee is present in the parameter P4 department number. Outer joins are used to ensure that all employee records are included in the results, 
even if there are no corresponding records in the EMP or department tables for managers or departments respectively. The instering function returns the position of the first occurrence of the first argument within the second argument. If it's greater than zero, it means a match was found. Don't forget to provide your page item number by replacing X symbol. Select the page item to be set into session state when the region is refreshed by a partial page refresh. Enter a text message to display if the query does not return any rows. Under the Columns node, click the Salary column, and pick the following format mask to apply to this component. It is important that number format masks are only applied to components that contain numbers, and date format masks are only applied to components that contain dates, otherwise a runtime error is raised when the component contains a value that cannot be converted using the specified format mask. Do same as for commission column. Click the Dynamic Actions tab. Create a dynamic action on change event. The item selection type can be triggered by one or more page items. And select the page items to trigger the dynamic action. For action select the refresh option, it triggers a refresh on the affected elements. Elements other than interactive reports, classic reports, and all item types with cascading LOV, does not support refresh action. For affected element select the interactive report region on the page. And save your work. Run the page. In the shuttle page item, move departments from left to right pane to see their data in the interactive report. Similarly, by removing any department from the right pane vanishes its data from the interactive report. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to have more new videos similar to this. Thank you for watching.